are not pleased with uh, our results in terms of uh, non-conference. But now with the conference uh, getting ready to start, it's a chance for us to refocus and to understand that the conference season, everybody starts off with a clean slate at 0-0. Zero, zero, and now we've got to obviously go out and make our way in, in a tough league. You know, it's a chance to refocus. All right, and we talk about the conference being the most important component in terms of, you know, your, your season. And so now we have a chance to make our own way in it. Obviously, we're going down to Memphis. It's a place where we've actually had good success in the past, so we should have some confidence and belief that we could go there and get a result. Plus, sometimes being on the road, it gets you together. You know, you're able to really um, key in on, on things. You're, you're in control of what the guys are doing and how your preparations are, are going, and, and you limit the distractions. So we're looking at it as an opportunity for us to jumpstart our season and what better place to do it than the first conference match against someone who we know very well and who you know we've had success playing at their place in the past. Well Memphis is a is a is a team that likes to be in possession of the ball. They're an honest team, they're a hard working team, they're a grinding team. I think we have to match some of those things. When you're on the road, you also don't want to fall behind early. So it's important for us to stay in the game for as long as possible. And then I think the thing is with, with Memphis is you're gonna get some looks because they play an open style. They play where you know you'll have opportunities on the counter against them, potentially on restart. So we just have to be really committed to what what we're doing and making sure that we start first with not giving up uh, you know soft goals defending keeping ourselves in the game and then when our chances come whether it's off a counterattack or off restarts or in the run of play we take advantage of those you know you you always um, uh, want to look at your last game and although we didn't win the West Virginia game we we did some things that were really positive we defended well um, I thought that we created a couple good chances in the first half. Um, I thought that our guys played with a lot of good energy and focused. Um, you know, we're still uh, integrating some pieces into the, the group, including Marcello. And so we're getting him sort of, um, you know, in, in, in the groove with the rest of the team. Um, we're looking at different systems, just making sure that we are, um, that we're as competitive as we can be. So, I mean, I think we continue to be excited about the potential of the team, but the reality is that, listen, You've got to turn potential into actual um, execution and results. And so we still have uh, work to do, but I feel like, you know, success can be just around the corner for this group if we continue to do the things that are, um, that are helping us have small successes. And ultimately, bottom line is it needs to show up on the scoreboard. So that's basically what we're focusing on, the positives and how can we go out and get a result against a good Memphis team.